Morning everybody. Out here this morning, trying a new little spot. Let's see what we can make of it today. Got some cut bait, got some squid, got some shrimp. Got a whole bunch of artificial. I'm gonna try some cut bait right now and some squid. See if we can get up on anything. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> you pulled that track. Yeah. yeah, I'm out of line, Kyle. I'm not even reeled around my spool. Pulled all the drag off. What is it? Watch it be a gator. <laughs> I don't even know if my camera is like. <sighs> Golly. He did take all that line. First fish of the day, Courtney hooked up. Pulled all the drag off. It's a fucking catfish. Nice size cat though. Damn, that's a big ass cat. Damn. That's a big one. Oop. Double hookup. Maybe. Nope. A little one. And I kept my bait. pliers that's not a self cut is it no nope he's going back thank there you, you go little one whatever it is It's a baby. Maybe not. Yeah, it's a baby. It's a cute little catfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a cute little catfish. Where are the pliers? Oh. It's 
double hookup. All I did was tighten your drag. Just a wee bit. It's a cute little catfish. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, stop your fussing. Stop your fussing. Stop it. On a shrimp too. Yep. Is it a cat? Please don't be a cat. Please don't be a cat. It's a cat. Small kitty. This was free floating, so maybe it's not a cat. I think it is, though. Please be a sail cat. If you're going to be a kitty cat, be a sail. Fuck. Okay, so there's catfish here. Thank you. Hey everybody, so we just got off the water. Uh, we're gonna go home. We're gonna clean up the catfish that Courtney caught um, and uh, make catfish nuggies for supper. So stay tuned. All right everybody, here's the nice catfish that Courtney caught. We're gonna fillet it up, make catfish nuggies with it tonight.
Can I hold the head? Mm-mm. Big fillet. Is it? Mm hmm. That's Gilbert. Old Gilbert. He's a flying catfish. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so normally I don't like to flay the whole fillet off the fish. I like to leave it on there for leverage. So I can try to grab it, but it slipped out of my hand and I dropped it. Lay the rib bones out. All right, so making catfish nuggies. You get yourself a heavy bottom pot like a Dutch oven. I reuse my oil for my catfish. I use vegetable oil. And after every time I cook, I let it cool off, I strain it, and then I put it right back in the same container. I use it again. I only do that though for catfish. I don't do it for any of the fish. The fish fry that I use is a Louisiana seasoned fish fry for catfish they also sell a, a hot and spicy one uh, it's in a red bag I believe um, I like the just the regular crispy fish fry makes it really good it's nice and crunchy not too heavy it's delicious all right so got the oil to 350 I just take my catfish then little nuggies just drop it in the breading toss it all around and drop it in it'll cook for a couple minutes starts to float, turns golden brown, you know it's done. Alright, so these are done. Look at that. Some of those don't look delicious. Take them out, put them on paper towel to drain, get all that excess oil off of them, and do the next batch.
doing so in the same oil as the catfish. Drop my hush puppy mix in. There's our catfish nuggies. And here's our hush puppies. Oh. Hmm. Look how pretty that is. Alright everybody, here's the final product. There's the catfish nuggies <clears throat> that Courtney caught, cleaned it up, cooked it up. There's our hush puppies and of course you gotta have the seasoned curly fries. Also there's homemade tartar sauce too. I'll have to put out a video on how to make that. Super simple, super easy, really good. Until next time, hope we see you on the water.